right, what's going on? So an update to the project. I've uh, got all my uh, holes tapped for the screws and I've got these nylon screws and uh, uh, nuts here and what we're going to do with those is we're going to put these two uh, half elements together like this and they're going to be electrically separated since they are uh, nylon screws and uh, that's what we're going to use to keep these together so that they don't get shorted out. I drilled the hole for the uh, BNC connector that's going to be put in here and uh, what I think I'm going to do I, I thought about this and I was uh, bear with me I was going to put a put a screw in here and touch the tip of the BNC connector like this and solder it but I was afraid that wouldn't be a very good connection and uh, it, it just wouldn't be so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the BNC connector in here and I'm going to uh, on one side of the, the, uh, the element I'm going to put a, uh, a little eye and we have a wire coming off and I'm just going to solder it into the BNC connector. So that will work good enough I believe. And uh, I don't think it will mess anything up. Um, I was trying to make it look as clean as possible without having any dangling wires, but uh, uh, I just I don't think it would have worked out. So we're going to go with this route, and I think that's going to work out pretty well. So as you see, um, the project's coming along nicely. I've got quite a mess going on over here, but uh, hopefully today I'll have this project all wrapped up. All right, so I've got the boom put together. And I use these uh, the nylon screws to keep these two uh, electrically separated, the two uh, half booms. And uh, what I have here is I have a couple of uh, PVC uh, caps that I um, want to use to set into a PVC handle. And that's going to uh, be what I use to hold the antenna. And I've got the BNC connector on there. And I have, as I was talking about, I have it uh, uh, one of these little eye, eyelets um, going into one side of the, uh, the antenna uh, uh, element. And that should, uh, that should do it. So uh, it's looking very good. And we're going to keep working on this. These are the arrows I'm using for the elements for the antenna. Uh, what they are, they're 20 inch aluminum crossbow darts, uh, which is perfect. The longest element for this antenna is a little over 18 inches. So it's perfect for that. And what I'm having to do, I wish I could find them inexpensive without the, uh, without the, uh, the feathers on there. But unfortunately, I couldn't find them, so I'm having to cut them all off. Um, just a little extra work. If I could find them without it cheap, I would have bought them that way but these were cheaper already pre-made uh, they're just 20 inch um, crossbow arrows and um, they're gonna work really well for this um, so we'll show you uh, what they look like on the antenna here in a minute I'm using an aluminum tube cutter, or not an aluminum tube cutter, but it's just a tube cutter to uh, cut these uh, aluminum arrows. Real easy to use. Put on there, get it tight. Start going around. There we go. Just like that. Alright, so this is what it's starting to come together and look like. Uh, it's starting to look like an antenna. This is going to be the rear. This is going to be the front. And uh, that's going to be a fine satellite antenna. Almost looks professional, doesn't it? Alright guys, YouTube, fellow hams and YouTube watchers and 
folks interested in radio. There it is. The final product. Um, like I said, I use the PVC uh, caps here with an elbow, a 90 degree, and a T. That way, if I ever want to just take this off, I can. There you go. And then it'll go right back on. Just like so. How about that? Log periodic antenna. For satellite work. Yeah, get with somebody that's got an antenna analyzer and give it a put it on there and see what it does. It should be pretty good, and uh, I'm really looking forward to using this. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, stick around for uh, more videos. Later, it's KK4DIV.